Another thing that we need to mention, the teaser is in black and white. The girls' identities, and probably their main symbolic characteristics, are their colors. To take away their colors is to strip away their identity. But in order for a change to occur, we have to look at who we are and what we represent. The teaser being in black and white just reiterates the notion that we are about to see completely new and refreshing changes in the girls. But what about the numbers at the end? The 1, 11, 21, and 31, at first, look like dates to me. Perhaps these are the days that Luna would release new teasers or promotions for the impending comeback. That would, by calendar, be once a week for all of January. I was baffled for a hot minute about this, but a simple search of the numbers led me to mathematics. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about math. But thank God that this mathematical notion, known as the look and say sequence, is easy to decode. No digits other than 1, 2, or 3 are usually seen in these sequences. This mathematical sequence is popular due to the cosmological theorem by Conway. It states that every sequence eventually splits into a sequence of atomic elements, which are finite substances. The elements make up every piece of matter on our planet, elements such as hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, etc. There are 92 elements from the periodic table containing the digits 1, 2, and 3 only. They were named after the chemical elements up to uranium. Basically, Conway's cosmological theorem concerns a mathematical recreation. For example, if you had the sequence 33114555, it would be read two threes, two ones, one four, three fives. And the output sequence would be two, three, two, one, one four, three five. Hence the name look and say sequence. The idea of this is to split the sequence into parts, which in turn evolve independently. We've seen this over and over in Luna and their group composition from soloists and subunits. So, now that I've explained the look and say sequence, let's analyze the one given to us in the teaser. 1112131 would be read off as three ones, one two, one one, one three, one one. Or, the output sequence would be three one, one two, one one, one three, one one. And, after all this analysis, this numeric sequence led me to, well, nothing. I scoured periodic charts and their sequential pairings. I even inverted the sequence to humor BBC in their love for looping and reversal, but to no avail. My theory is that this will be another scientific notion that BBC plays with in the lore, much like the neanthropic genetic makeup of YYYY that we previously decoded. We've also seen elemental aspects of the girls already. Remember that Instagram post that Jaden Jung, the mastermind behind Luna made? Solid, liquid, gas. This clearly outlined each member in their subunits. The only different members were Gohan and Yojin. Obviously, we know that Gohan is different due to her holy characteristics, and we know that Yojin is different in that she is not in any subunit. So what does it mean? Well, we actually have connected Gohan and Yojin in the past based on their music videos and recurring motifs, but this teaser isn't in depth enough to answer these questions. We'll just have to wait for the official comeback. We actually saw XX twice in this teaser, once over a mystery girl with short hair, whom I believe is hostile due to the other one shot of her and short hair blowing in the wind, and once over Vivi. Vivi's XX was overlaid with a VHS static. If you are my age or older, you'll remember that specific line sequence running up and down the picture of your movie on screen as you rewound the tape. How fitting that a VHS rewind was over Vivi's XX. The girl who was first seen with the cassette and had the X by in the bottom of her diary entry on the computer, which led us to decode the rewinding properties of the XX teaser. We also saw it over Hustle, but it's just over Hustle. We remember that in her music video, she had the diamond over her eye, which caused us to believe that she was looking for some truth. So what truth could she get out of rewinding the actions that happened in Hi Hi? Again, this teaser is posing more questions than it's actually answering, but Within due time, we'll be able to have the answers. The last, and most significant scene in my opinion, is Kim Lip. She is seen looking at us, the focus on her eye, the one that would have been her odd eye as we'd seen previously, 
fact that this time, we didn't see her odd eye. We did not see a flash of red, which is most peculiar. Then, we see Kimlip curl up, cover her face as if she is ashamed or afraid, and turn her back to us. Then we see the butterfly wings upon her back. With the addition of the butterfly wings, I believe Kimlip curling up was supposed to allude to her going into a cocoon for metamorphosis, that an oncoming change would be set in the lore. So far, in any and all discussions about the reverse orders of the girls, we've always focused on the duality and comparison of literally every other girl, like Cherry and Hyunjin, Olivia and Heejin, etc. But what about our girl in the middle, the sixth girl, Kimlip? Perhaps because she truly is in the middle of the group. She has some of the most dynamic characteristics among the other girls, but we just don't know it yet. And maybe this comeback will focus on the duality of our girls. As we all know, aside from our genomes of XX for female and XY for male, we have phenomes too, what our genes have defined that are displayed in our physical image. We are physical beings. But that doesn't mean that the self doesn't have dualities that can be explored through expansions of the lore and such. Luna's central message, amidst all of their lore, is love. Loving others, loving with confidence, and loving oneself. So maybe, with this metamorphosis, we'll explore the bad aspects of love. Despising others, feeling weak, and hating ourselves. There is always duality in the Lunaverse. Black and white, up and down light and dark, just to name a few. Could Kimlet be another key girl in exploring not just Luna as a group, but ourselves as well? Could she be another key girl in exploring our self-images? The butterfly wings on her back are wings of a swallowtail butterfly, specifically a black swallowtail. These specific butterflies represent transformation and resurrection, just like all butterflies do, but they specifically represent higher consciousness, strength and vulnerability, and flashes of insight. These are all aspects associated with self-acceptance and the struggle that comes along with it. As stated, maybe Luna will explore the dark aspects of love. We just, again, won't know until we have this comeback set in place. To me, the X1X title represents the rewinding of XX, but also visually represents a butterfly in its wings. At this point, all of us orbits can be sure that Goan's animal, the butterfly, will play a central part in the themes of this continuation of the lore. So if XX was the rewinding tape to bring us down from the roller coaster high of love and coming together as a whole, X1X will be the butterfly wings that guide us through a dark and melancholic lens through which we will see Luna and how they experience love or hatred. We still have so many unanswered questions, even with the release of this teaser. BBC let XX sink in and perhaps slip our minds, then dropped a teaser that was opposite to our next expectations. We can never expect something the same from Luna. It will always be new, fresh, and exploratory. I'm really excited for this next era from them, and I hope that they rise and gain the respect they deserve with the creative and societal commentary about girls and love that they push. Since XX was bye bye to Luna's dreamy, feminine, high jump of debut, then we've rewound the tape to bring us to X1X. The question is, are we going forwards or backwards? Thank you for watching. I have a Patreon if you want to support the channel and support me putting out more theory videos. If you did like this video, subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment on what you think is to come next in Luna's lore. I'm really interested in what everybody's thinking. It was dropped all of a sudden out of nowhere. I literally woke up to the notification and was like, okay, we're making a video about this. There's just something about their dark and melancholic side that I just, I just absolutely adore. Thank you again for watching, like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I will see you guys next time. This is Twinfish, signing off.